Back to our developing story tonight. Alabama electing its first Democrat to the Senate in a quarter century. Voters turned out in large numbers today for the state's special election, picking Doug Jones over former state judge Roy Moore. Reporter Mola Lenghi has the latest from Montgomery, Alabama. CBS News is projecting Democrat Doug Jones has defeated Republican Roy Moore in Alabama, winning the Senate seat once held by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Jones's campaign rose to victory thanks in part to African American voters in the state. I think everybody realized how serious this election was once Donald Trump was on the bandwagon for Roy Moore. Moore, who traveled to the polls on horseback, stands accused of sexually harassing or assaulting multiple women when they were in their teens and he was in his 30s claims he denies. I've just always thought that he was a good man and I just don't pay attention to a lot of the talk. CBS News exit poll data showed voters were largely split on whether they believe the allegations were true. The Trump factor seemed to matter more to those who voted for Roy Moore than Doug Jones. Nearly six in ten of them said they made their choice to express support for President Trump. Roy Moore is the guy we need. The president stood firmly behind Moore, breaking with some members of his own party in an effort to keep the seat in the solid red state in Republican hands. You've had Republican senators who believe Roy Moore's accusers and who think the party, uh, by supporting Roy Moore and the president by supporting Roy Moore, uh, has gone too far, has put winning above all else. Moore had hoped to rally the conservative base in the state. His loss Tuesday night now gives Democrats a clearer path to a Senate majority in 2018. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Montgomery, Alabama. And not long ago, Doug Jones issued a tweet saying, thank you, Alabama. 22 lucky Grand Forks kids got to shop with a cop today. Grand Forks teachers help choose kids who are excelling in the classroom and others who have extra challenges to overcome this holiday season, like Nevada, Dakota. Nevea, rather. She's been living in a shelter with her grandma and takes the city bus to get around town. She was chosen to spend $100 to shop for her relatives tonight at Walmart. I'm really, really proud of Nevea. Um, her teacher says all the kids want to be her partner in school. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. They said she's really nice and really polite. So, and she's helpful to the kids. The money spent today comes from a golf fundraiser put on by the Grand Forks Police Department and also Walmart, which donated $1,000. The Grand Forks County Sheriff's Office will be doing the same thing for kids who live outside the city next week. The Bison football team will need to get past a high-powered offense if it wants to book another trip to Frisco. Alex will be in with details later in sports. And if you're buying pre premium gasoline for a car that doesn't require it, you may be wasting your money.